Well, welcome back everyone. Uh, on this episode, we leave Townsville where we've refueled and reprovisioned and we're heading down today to uh, as far as Cape Up spend the night and uh, then we head on further down the coast towards uh, Bowen and uh, Cape Boster where we uh, stay for uh, three or four nights there and uh, join some friends of ours for lunch at the resort. After that we head down to Woodwark Bay close to Whaley Beach where we spent another three or four glorious nights uh, waiting just uh, for time to pass and head on down to Early Beach where we eventually get reach our home base and uh, settle in. So sit back and enjoy yourself while we take you on the ride. Two hours into our trip, it's now 8.30, so yeah, bang on two hours. We're just coming around Cape Cleveland, which is that one right there. Lighthouse with a solar array. Looks like fuel tanks there. Not sure if it's a man lighthouse, it used to be apparently. Yeah, it's well starting to build now, it certainly will do once we come around this headland. Well, we've had a great trip from Townsville, which is way back there, to here, we've come about 10 nautical miles. Averaging about 6 knots, which has been nice. 
and it's been reasonably pleasant so far but we'll see what this brings. The wind appears to be picking up, we've got about 20 knots apparent at the moment, but probably about fifth, good 15, solid 15. Yeah. So far so good. I'll give you an update a bit later. Well, a bit of an update, it's uh, We've been going for about six hours now, or five hours. It's half past 11. We've just had a, a plowman's lunch. The coal is prepared for, for lunch. We're just about to round Cape Bowling Green, or more affectionately known as Cape Roly Poly, if you ever stay here. It just seems to roll incessantly. But it's nothing more than a sand spit that just seems to go on forever and ever. It's got a little hut on it, like a little lunch shelter. But we didn't, but when we came up here, we anchored here for the night and we virtually had to strap ourselves to the bed all that much. So we've decided we're not gonna stop here. We're gonna bear on. It's gonna get a little bit rougher around the corner, I would imagine. It's a fairly calm passage across from uh, Cape Cleveland at about oh, sometimes less than a metre of swell which has been quite comfortable it's picking up to just over a metre now wind speeds about 15 to 16 knots so once we get around this corner we're going to be totally unprotected until we get the Cape Upstart bit of a clue where we're going if we can see this so we can't anchor down here at Cape Upstart we've got probably another three hour run so we're about halfway I suppose from Townsville to Cape Upstart so bring it on it's about 10 to 5 we're just coming up to Cape Upstart at last it's been a big day, we've been going about 11 hours now and uh, it hasn't been a real uncomfortable day but it hasn't been comfortable either. We had it about oh, one and a half metres I suppose coming around Cape Roly Poly and uh, one set, maybe two sets at around the two metre mark. But other than that, it hasn't been too bad. The last hour and a half, two hours has been a bit like this, about a half a metre. So it hasn't been too uncomfortable at all. Got a few boats here. Last time we were here, we were the only boat for about 10 days. I think we were stuck here for, with a strong wind morning. We're looking forward to getting out and getting down to Gloucester Island tomorrow. So uh, hopefully that'll be the case. Other than that, the, the crews handle it all okay today. The cat's been adopting this position for most of the trip. That's nice timing. That's <laughs> nice timing. That's nice <laughs> well, well worn couches today. <laughs> but, uh, other than that, it's been a pretty uneventful day and just a long day more than anything. The boat's running like a, yeah, a Rolex. All right, well, we'll get uh, anchored in somewhere, tucked in nice and safe, and put the anchor down and have that. Uh, long-awaited cold anchor beer. Good morning. Beautiful day. We're just leaving Cape Upstart and heading for the wet Sundays. Looks like another beautiful sunrise. Ship way out on the ocean over there. Quite a pleasant night here at um, Cape Upstart around this rock here and then head down towards Bowen. Forecast is for 10 knots in the morning from the southeast. At the moment we've got uh, southwesterly at about five knots. So we're looking to take advantage of the mild conditions, hence the early start. It's coming up to about 20 knots later in the day. So we'll take advantage of this, that's for sure. 
Uh, another beautiful start there to another beautiful day. The boy Cape Upstart. One trawler came in behind us last night. There was a power boat beside us, but he snuck off during the course of the evening. Take advantage of the calmer conditions overnight, no doubt. Which we'll probably end up getting used to doing when we're a bit more comfortable. We're staying awake all night. So we're averaging a good six knots, which is nice. The tide has just started to change. It started to run in flood, which will help us. We'll probably pick up another half a knot at least. It's not, not a big spring tide, but it's a, a, a medium spring tide. I suppose you'd describe it as. Wind's picked up slightly. We're doing about 15 knots at the moment and uh, it swung round to the southeast, uh, which we knew it would. It was coming in the southwest, which is over in that direction there, but now it's swung around uh, right on the nose. This is the Abbott Point coal loading facility. We're just passing this north of Bowen, uh, which surprises me there's not a boat on there at the moment. There's about six anchored out in the uh, anchoring zone. Um, possibly they're, they're getting ready for, to bring one in for the day. But I did notice one of the tugboats is still sitting at anchor. Over that way. A bit happening on the radio, so maybe something's happening. Yeah, but quite a comfortable day so far. We're uh, almost halfway to uh, our destination for the night, which is across the passage. Nice little uh, anchorage there where they've got a dozen or so moorings and uh, a nice little bar and hotel facility. So uh, we're planning on spending the weekend there at least. The weather comes really good next Wednesday, or Tuesday or Wednesday next week. So we'll spend a couple of days around the islands and we'll Sunday and getting back towards Early Beach on Friday. Anyway, they're liquid plans. We're cruising along quite nicely at the moment. But this wind coming right on the nose will, could get ugly, but uh, it's only forecast to come to 15 knots, which is about what we've got now. Well, I'll give you a bit more of an update a bit later on. Frocked up, and, we we're, and we're going to town. We so uh, we're here at uh, Gloucester, Gloucester, Gloucester Passage, Gloucester Island, whatever you want to call it, Cape Gloucester and Resort. Cape Gloucester. Yeah. So we're going in, meet, meeting some friends for lunch in at the resort. The resort's over there. We've got a tiny turtle in. So we're going to go for a bit of an adventure. So come and join us. Just getting my backpack on so I can keep everything yeah. under control. Yes, please. Do a Joe Biden my feet. See you, Cookie. Ellie's 
Cruise up through the passage there. We'll head off in a couple of days when we get a decent weather window. It's starting to calm off about Tuesday, Wednesday. And we'll head off again then. In the meantime, we'll enjoy the hospitality of the Cape Gloucester. Oh, whether it's actually a pub or a motel or a hotel. Anyway. Well, we have arrived. Not a bad little spot at all. Still waiting on our friends. The All Bar and Bisto. Yeehaw. I don't know that I'll be going for a swim, but anyway. Good morning, everyone. We're uh, here at uh, Gloucester Passage, or Gloucester, Cape Gloucester. Uh, we've been here for three or four days now. It's Tuesday, and uh, for the first time on our trip over the last two months, we've got three consecutive days of uh, under 20 knots of breeze. So we've got 10 to 15 forecasts for the next three days. We're uh, got to be back in Airlie Beach Friday, Saturday, so we're going to head back towards a bit Sunday through the Gloucester Passage this morning and uh, go somewhere. Hopefully that's not too crowded. They're looking at marine traffic this morning. There's boats everywhere in the Whit Sundays because it's coming up to the racing season in August. Although we're sort of mid June at the moment, at the 15th today or something like that. But anyway, so we're going to head back and see if we can find somewhere secluded like uh, Armoured Island or Double Bay, somewhere around there where there's not too many boats about. So we're going to go and have a look there. So we're going to go through the routines and checklists so get everything stowed, even though we probably don't need to get it stowed within these conditions. But uh, we're going to get run through the process anyway. All right, we'll catch up with you a bit later. You get some pretty spectacular scenery cruising around the Whit Sundays. This is Saddleback Island. It's probably, I don't know, there's warning signs everywhere on it, look out for snakes. So, uh, we haven't really gone ashore on that one for some reason. But, uh, probably because it says look out for snakes. <laughs> More than likely. But have an enjoyable day today, heading back towards Airlie. Way in the distance over there is uh, with Sunday Island, Hayman Island, Hook Island, yeah. And we're heading straight down between those two islands here and we might stay at Armit this evening, we'll see how we go. No great rush. I've got the um, mackerel line out the back at the moment, but. Uh, don't hold much hope of catching anything, but you never know. Some might be some fish's unlucky day today. We can only hope. Well, this is a bit of all right. We've pulled in down at Woodwark Bay. We uh, didn't stop at Armored Island. We pulled in there and had a bit of a look, but uh, it was a fair bit of chop in there. And we thought, no, we don't want that. We just want a nice, cosy anchorage. So we pulled in here at Woodwark Bay. 
quite a few boats. There's three boats down that direction, another one here, one in the shore, a few people walking along the beach. There's a bit of a walk you can do up to a lagoon up the top, might not even do that over the next day or two. A couple more boats over here and one behind us in about four to five metres of water, steady low tide now. 40 metres of chain out. Got to put the bridle on yet. Yeah, and we're out of bread, so Kyle's going to knock up some bread. Don't even know that we need the stabilisers today. Anyway, it's not hard to put them out. Oh well, we'll leave it there. We are. Tell that went bust. Don't know what's happened to it now. I guess it's just a resort, another resort up here. I'm not sure, but just gorgeous little secluded spot. It's still sitting down there, smiling away. There's turtle out there. go around the corner here and go for a wander along the beach I think because it'll be the first day we've been off the boat for a few days so it'll be nice to get off and have a bit of a wander. Tell you what the water's bloody cold though compared to when we left. We went to go to look for the track but we didn't think it'd probably a bit overgrown so giving that a miss and it would appear we're just playing rev heads in the tender at the moment. Might go around to the next beach because that one's looking a bit meh, rocky. I think our beach on our bay is a wee bit better. It's just so pretty, I can't believe we're travelling. If you hear a big splash and you end up covered in water, you'll know I've face planted because I'm not the most elegant person. Getting in and out of the boat. John always says three points of contact, but I don't think he means feet, feet, and face, but anyway. I always give it my best shot. How pretty. Oh, only two, one night. We went for happy hour at Gloucester. Oh, we did too. <laughs> well, well, two days. Stay there, turtle. Feels like forever. On Grimson Point, a little camping area. There's a dry oh, end Point. National Park. What's that, Dyke? Sorry? This is Grimson Point. Well, they've even got facilities here. Bathroom. Woohoo, long drop. Probably wouldn't be a bad camping spot, but there's better ones around. Probably not many as secluded because no one wants to come here because there's no real, not a bad little outlook though. Ow, 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 ow. Prickle. Hey, yeah, that's tough to talk, really, isn't it? Oh, someone's left the saucepan behind. Probably a reason for that. They might be coming back. Pretty good saucepan too, stainless steel. Imitation stainless. A Wiltshire Pro Series. Yes, pretty basic. But not a bad spot. Well, good morning. Just been doing some film editing this morning for the Cairns to Fitzroy episode. And 60 odd days we've been away 
and this is where within Kui of Early Beach the weather turns to this. We're in uh, Woodwark Bay at the moment. There's Jody Rich's or ex Jody Ridges resort down there and there. This is where they filmed Tales of the South Seas many years ago. Very nice little spot. There's a little walking track up to a lagoon which I did 15, 20 years ago. Might go for a walk up there a bit later, see if it's still there. We did have a sailing boat there, but he's obviously gone this morning. Got the catamaran still there, and there was another power boat beside us here, and he's obviously gotten on. Gorgeous day, just over that hills, early beach. Got to start making the most of this. Good morning, everyone. We're it's, uh, Sunday, about the, well, I don't know what it is, mid mid. June, about the uh, 18th, I think. And uh, yeah, we've just had our brekkie with uh, WD-40 coated eggs. That's another story. But anyway, we did here at Woodwark Bay. It was about 10 or 11 boats here last night. It was quite comfortable. Beautiful little spot, actually. It's not far. Early Beach is just over the hill there. That's where we're heading this morning. Go back to our marina and um, Get ready for our next adventure. We've got a week or two in Early Beach just catching up on a few little bits and pieces we've got to do. I've got to do an engine service on the boat and um, some other odd jobs. We've done about, I've been away almost three months I suppose and uh, we've done about 200 odd hours on the engine so uh, you'd like to sort of have it serviced every 200, 250 mark. But uh, no, it's been great. The boat's been running lovely. Going to get a bit of work done to this uh, bowsprit while we're in there. I've got Dave coming out on Monday to look at tearing it apart and putting a new one on. It's getting a bit soft. Got some water in it over the years and it's gone a bit soft. But just keep the maintenance up to it and she'll look after it. It's my philosophy anyway. Anyway, we'll get you in touch a little bit later on once we've uh, gotten underway and uh, give you a bit of an update. Weather's about 10 to 15 knots, I think, at the moment. Weather's looking particularly good next weekend, and I'd, uh, if possible, I'd like to get out to uh, Bait Reef or somewhere out the, at the reef for a couple of days. But uh, We'll play that by ear and just see what the weather ends up doing. All right, we'll talk to you a bit later. Give you a bit of a look at what's going on. This one goes on the bow and then acts as a springer, not a jerry springer, turtle springer. Oh, and I feel well lubricated after that breakfast spray with CRC. Yacht races on. Here we go again. They look lasers. They're a ton of fun to sail those things. The yacht race on today. The big boys looks like the round the mole island race. That's one of the boys there for the start. They got away about half an hour ago. Hello, Cookie. I'll put you back up here. You get a bit of a view of what's going on. I might drop that lid down on the cabin. Get a bit better view of where we're going.
Haven't had the air conditioning on on the boat all trip. It's been nice. Four meters of water. What? Is that? what? I just closed the hatch. Very brave, Kitty Cat, aren't you? We'll brave. We'll eat your breakfast now, and we'll probably start again watching. It starts to get crowded early beeps this time of year with all the yacht racing coming up, but it's only sort of mid-June, 18th today, so we've still got another month before it's peak season, they start to produce the early beach yacht race. Power boat, yeah. Thanks everyone for joining us on this episode. It was a fairly long one travelling all the way down from Townsville to back to Early Beach, our home base. But uh, we made it safely and uh, we've settled in for a few weeks here. We were catching up on some medical appointments amongst other things and uh, some maintenance on the boat. And uh, we'll try and capture most of that in the next episode which will hopefully be out next week. Anyway, thanks again and uh, Goodbye from Early Beach. Don't forget to like and subscribe, the usual thing, and uh, we'll see you in a week or so.